Now I don't know if you can see the dirt on these wheels but this loco has been around the track a few times and uh, it's now picked up dirt. This is the bogey which has the ring field motor and the traction tyres on one side. You've got a non-driven bogey over here uh, but the way it picks up the current is from this side of the driven bogey and from the opposite side of the non-driven bogey. And so in order to get power to the bogey to turn it, you need to have something which is quite far apart. Now my favourite, and it seems like it's everybody's favourite, cleaning device is this uh, Trix uh, wheel cleaner that just sits on the track and allows you to clean wheels. And what people do is they obviously join two or three together to clean larger locos. What I want to do is give this tidy tracks thing another try. So there is dirt on there. Will it remove them? Now on the driven wheels the conduction through onto some brass strips down here will mean that it will turn those wheels. But for the non-driven wheels they just roll. Now depending and they will roll on the tips of the flanges along the copper strip which potentially means that there's a little bit of differential speed between the uh, flange and the tyre. Uh, on fine scale wheels there's not going to be much difference in diameter and therefore not much differential speed. But if the friction with the pad is greater than the friction onto the copper strip, which it potentially is, then it will actually just roll along the pad. So for the non-driven wheels, it's rolling along the pad. Without power applied, for the driven wheels, they're rubbing along the pad, which is, you know, you're rubbing them along the pad. At one point, actually, does that turn the motor? Yes, it does a little. Right, so let's apply power. And then you can get it right. So it's just about turning. And this is a gentle device, it shouldn't damage the uh, traction tyres on those bogies. And the reason I'm giving it another try is with this older ring field motored device, where the pickup is from opposite sides of the two bogies, this looked as though it had the potential, and the initial reviews and the press said that it would have the potential. But remember for the front ones, I doubt I'm rolling more than halfway around. Now, from what I can see, there's still a lot of dirt on there. And even on the driven wheels, maybe I'm not using this right. There's dirt. Loads of it. I can scrape it off with my fingernail, so it's not impossible to remove. With the tricks, as I say, uh, unless I apply power at the front somehow. The problem is, you're likely to damage the traction tyre. Coming cleaner. Just clean two of the wheels at the back. And there are two wheels at the back. Sorry, I can't see from my hand. So picking up current from the front bogey on one side, rear bogey on the tricks, spinning freely. <laughs> you may not be able to see that, but I can. If it focuses, shiny, shiny wheels. They're clean and the other wheels will be cleaned in the conventional way because I can actually turn them. Um, but I suspect that even rolling those across there may do, let's open up again, as much as rolling it across those pads. Yes. So even using the tricks in the rolling way, that's for the non-driven wheels. 
and lifting it off so you get to a new piece. That's cleaner. I don't like dissing something if there's a way of making use of it. So I thought it was worth giving it another try. It's had another try and it's failed. That's all I can say about it. That's the Roco Tidy Track, this type of wheel cleaner.